Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over everything you need to know about FIT. Whether you're applying, you got accepted, or you're just curious, I'm gonna go over everything from like application to what the school is like and its social life. I was getting so many DMs from you guys and my Instagram on what it's like, if it's worth it, and things like that. So I'm gonna be answering all of your questions today. I posted on my Instagram story what you guys wanted to know. So we're gonna go over it. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a pretty long video. So go get a snack, go get something to drink because we're gonna be here for a while. So I'm gonna go by sections. The first one is going to be my story. So I'm gonna tell you why I chose FIT and sort of a little background story so you guys can see where I'm coming from. Okay, where should I start? So sophomore year, I was in a fashion business class and the school had a field trip to New York. We didn't tour FIT, but we did go to the museum. So I kind of got to see the campus like a little bit it, and I was like, oh my God, I really like it. Like it's in the city, whatever, whatever. I'm sorry that the lighting keeps changing, but yeah, I had no idea what I was gonna do. I had no plan. And good thing I went to that trip because I was like, oh my God, like what if I go to New York? Like I love New York and I have some family members up there. So I was like, maybe fashion school, we'll see. Wow, I'm gonna try to keep my eyes open. I'm so sorry. This is like a weird shadow. Junior year came around. I started applying to a few schools in state and I wasn't gonna apply to FIT. I was like, no way, I can't even afford it. Like, yeah, fashion school, that's nice, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. So I got into FIU and I was leaning more towards FIU and I already had a plan. I was already getting an apartment with my friend. She's from Dominican Republic and she was coming to study here. So I already had a plan. We were gonna get an apartment. And then I was like, wait, but like, what if I got into FIT? I still didn't hear anything from the school. So I called them and I'm like, hey, like I really wanna know if I got in cause I have to decide. So they're like, okay, do you want us to send to you like your letter, like email it to you? I was like, Okay, yeah, just email it to me. So they sent it to me and I, five minutes later, I opened it and I started crying because I got in. <sighs> I got into FIT, guys. I can't stop crying. And then a few days later, I got my, my folder with like everything. I had less than a week to decide what I was gonna do because the deadline for both schools was approaching and I was like, okay, whatever, fuck it, I'm going. Mind you, I didn't even tour the school and you guys were asking me how I liked it when I toured. I didn't, that's the worst part. I just went in there knowing nothing. I mean, I watched videos, but it's different. Like everyone had a different opinion about the social life and the classes. So I was kind of scared. I was like, oh my God, what did I do? But I'm glad, I'm glad I chose FIT. You guys wanted to know what my favorite thing about FIT is. It's like the main reason I'm going for the resources, especially, you know, being in Manhattan and fashion district. And it's just, you get internships, you can do um, New York Fashion volunteers, and the professors are professionals from the industry, which is the best part. So moving on to the next category, we're gonna start with the application process. We're gonna start with pre-college and classes I've taken before applying to FIT because you guys had a few questions. First question is, should I take any specific classes in high school before I apply to FIT? So I did dual enrollment senior year, and if you guys don't know what that is, basically you're taking some college classes while you're still in high school. That is the best thing to do. You are going to thank yourself later. The two college courses I took were intro to business and advertising, just because I knew that marketing was the field that I wanna go into. So I took those two while in high school. They were super, super helpful. You guys could even take like your core classes, like you can take your English and your math just to get those out of the way so that you don't have to do them when you go to FIT and you just start with the classes specified for your major right away. It's super smart move to do. If you guys are still in high school, definitely think about that. The best part was that those two courses I took canceled out and I didn't have to take those two specific classes at FIT. So definitely look into dual enrollment or just taking college classes when you can, especially if you're out of state, because why not get those out of the way for way cheaper at a community college and then just transfer the credits. Next, we have applying to FIT. So the first thing you're gonna do is file your SUNY application. And then once you do that, you have to submit your supplemental materials. So that includes your school transcripts, if you're applying to the School of Art and Design, then you have to submit a portfolio, your SAT and ACT scores, and no, this does not determine whether or not you get accepted into FIT. It's not used for admission purposes, so don't freak out if you're not a good test taker and you did super bad on them because I didn't do the best either, but they just use that to place you in your English and your math courses. Last is your admissions essay. This is super, super important, so definitely take some time on it. Have people read it for you, proofread, rewrite, like 
It's so important, especially if you're applying to the School of Business and Technology because you can't submit a portfolio. So this essay has to show who you are and what you wanna do. And you just really have to show how passionate you are. You have to explain to them why you're the perfect candidate and why you're interested in the major you are applying to. So work super hard on this essay. And I feel like the best way to get in is showing them that you've been doing things to get to your goal. For me, I wrote about my YouTube and my experience in the marketing and advertising field and why I wanna pursue this major and what's helped me to get there. You also wanna make sure that you mention how FIT is gonna help you achieve that goal because they wanna see where you're at and if you're like hardworking and passionate and I think that's kind of like the key thing to get into FIT. So moving on to majors, you guys wanted to know what I'm majoring in and I'm in the School of Business. I'm an AMC major and that is Advertising Marketing Communications and you guys were also interested in FBM. That's another super popular one in the School of Business. You guys asked which one is better. So it just depends on who you are and what you like. So for me, I'm super creative. I love coming up with ideas and incorporating in things and like I'm a salesperson. You have to sell a product, you have to market it. So so that's why I'm an AMC major. But if you're more operations and management, that's FBM. That deals with retail operations. You could be a buyer, you could be a manager. I don't really know much to speak on this like major. So if any of you guys are FBM and you guys want to help me out, let me know what it's like and what your classes are like because I get some questions about that, but I don't know too much. So I definitely help everyone down there in the comments. So yeah, thanks. Someone asked, are there beauty industry majors? I know that there's a cosmetic and fragrance related major. So definitely look into that. It's all on the FIT website. If you want to do cosmetic and fragrance marketing, I know that exists, but I don't know too much about that. The main question, how are you affording to live in New York. We're gonna go over all the financials right now. First question, are you an out-of-state student and how did this impact your tuition? Yes, I am from South Florida. My tuition's really pricey compared to what in-state um, students pay, but when comparing it to the schools here in Florida, it was the same as me attending an in-state school. So for a public school in New York City, it's actually pretty affordable and not as bad as you think. I don't have the money and I still couldn't afford it. So I did get some grants and I also took out a loan. Um, I know, I took out a loan, I'm sad about that. But I had to, I wanted to go to fashion school, it's okay. I'm investing in my future and I will be paying it back once I'm successful, once I get to where I wanna be and I feel like you have to be very goal driven. You know, if you're going out of state and you can't afford it, I know you guys wanted to know like, how should I pay for school if I want to go to FIT? I'm, I'm not sure because I took out a loan, but you really have to work hard once you're there so that you can become successful, you can pay that off. Last thing I want is to be crippled in debt because of this loan. So best believe I'm gonna bust my ass working hard in another state. Can you get into FIT with a scholarship? I don't believe so, but they do offer scholarships that you guys can apply to. It just depends if you're eligible. So I know that once you're there, you will get an email from the school and they'll be like, hey, like you're eligible to apply for this scholarship and you just go ahead and fill out the online form. The scholarships and grants are awarded from funds to the FIT Foundation and they're donated by huge firms, organizations, and many individuals, so that's where they come from. That's everything you guys asked for application, so moving on to housing. What is the best dorm? There is Nagler, Coed, Alumni, and Kaufman. All of them have different, um, different types of rooms, so there's some that are single, some have AC, some, you know, it's like a double, a triple, some have kitchen, some have, some don't, like, that's how it is. It's all on the website and you can go through it and they'll tell you each one and how much they cost. But personally, I was in Nagler and you guys wanted to know how I liked it. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. It wasn't as bad as you think. In the summer, it was really, really hot. Oh my God, that was horrible. I wish I had a kitchen, that's the only thing, but, the communal bathrooms you'll survive it's not horrible like i mean it's also up to you so just your preference i personally just say you know what like get the cheapest dorm which is nagler and i might reapply for it just because i'm already taking out this loan and i don't want to take more money out so i'm kind of just thinking about that and i'm like you know what whatever like i'm living like i just need a bed and I just need to eat. I was looking at the prices when I was applying to housing for fall 2020 and I was like, oh my God, like this is so much money for like a bathroom and a kitchen. And obviously it's gonna be more, but like 
I was like, holy shit, like I'm, I, I can't, I can't afford this. This also ties in with the next question, which is should I dorm or get an apartment my first year? Girl, if you can afford your own apartment in New York City your first year, definitely do it. I know a lot of people tell me that they can find apartments the same price they're paying for the dorms but for me my loan is covering my dorm so like if i had the money out of pocket you know i would obviously get an apartment but i don't so if you can afford an apartment go for it like get it you can also get an apartment style dorm so that's an alumni kaufman some co-ed and some nagler too uh, so if you want an apartment you can also just get that at the dorms if you want to be on campus and still be able to like make more friends so just up to you and how much stuff you have and you're bringing with you because you know the dorms aren't as big I like it's getting like an apartment has a little bit more space so yeah social life my top questions is it hard making friends and how do i make friends i'm gonna be completely honest it is hard making friends for some reason it's just hard i don't understand why it's not like high school like it's just completely like it's so strange don't be scared by that it's not that you're not gonna make friends and that people are rude it's just everyone's putting up a front because they don't want to make the first move and like you know be like hey let's be friends so at orientation definitely use that to your advantage the fact that you're in groups makes it so much easier so just be like hey like where are you from or like hey i like your shoes and easily people will start talking i promise so i say definitely check out the facebook and join it because everyone just posts like hey like my name is blah 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 and i'm looking for friends in the city like everyone's so sweet and then on instagram too just you know start lurking stalking people and dming them you know shoot your shot trust me i did it i did it twice those two times great i'm still friends with them really good friends with them the first time the first time was my friend lauren and i saw her on instagram and i was like oh my god like whatever let me just dm her and i was like hey oh my god we should like get lunch or something blah 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 and she goes yes i'd love that definitely and boom a friendship was born then i did it again with alja and aisha i put them in a group chat and i was like hey you guys are so cute like we should like get together sometime get some lunch whatever we met up been bfs ever since so don't be scared to reach out to people because everyone wants to be friends actually okay people can be rude and there are stuck up people i know I, i've experienced it people are like no like no ignore it not a big deal who cares you'll make other friends if you're dorming you meet people because you know you're walking around the hallways or like if you're in a communal bathroom you meet them there like i've met so many great people like sophia alina janae like i can't even name them all like i literally it's 3 a.m i go to pee there's a conversation in the hallway so then you're like okay you sit there you're there for hours like you're going to get water you run into someone you're talking there for a long ass time just like hey what you up to whatever whatever and boom a friend so easy so and the dorms is also super quick to like make friends but definitely at orientation and dming people and not being afraid to like reach out to people or even in your classes you meet a lot of people in your classes and you become friends with them but you don't always become bffs and like hang out after class that's just like not the move in fit like everyone's like focus on their own thing that they're like like they don't have time. I feel like that's why it's hard to make friends at FIT because everyone is so goal driven and they know what they want and they have stuff to do, things to get done that they're not focused on like keeping friendships, but you're still friends with them if that makes sense. Next question is how's long distance with your boyfriend? Long distance sucks, but it definitely makes a friend, the friendship. Do you hear me? I mean, it is a friendship, but it makes the relationship stronger because you don't see them as often so when you do it's kind of a little more special you're like oh i get to see you yay and like visiting each other and whatever so yeah i was pretty lucky that he got to visit me multiple times and i got the opportunity to come back home to see him so it was nice where do you go for parties no we all know fit is not your typical college we don't have frats we don't have sororities we don't have any of that so i know some people go to um columbia or nyu frat parties and things like that i've never been to one of those but um you go clubbing you go to the club you go to the bar like that's the like that's the thing here next are some questions that you guys had that i couldn't really find a category for so that is do you recommend fit i understand why people don't like fit and they leave and they're like this school is just not it the people are not like no like i'm not going to fit you don't go and you see a lot of videos like that on youtube and i can see where they're coming from i really do because the school is 
it's different. It's very different. I feel like at FIT, you have to do more than just go to your classes. There is free time, there is fun time. When you go to the city, you have fun, you walk around, you get good food. Like that's the best part that you're in New York. But you also have to balance like, I'm here to get shit done. Use FIT and its resources to your advantage. Get a job, get an internship. Um, you know, you just really have to network because now is the time. And meeting new people, like this is where you're gonna meet the new people to get to where you wanna be after college. Definitely just go into a mindset where it's like, I'm here to have the best four years or two years of my life and also make it worth it where I connect with so many people and it's just, it was like a win-win. Like I had fun and I used the resources to my advantage and I look where I'm at. How was your first year experience? Me and my roommate were chosen like, you know, at random. So we weren't like BFFs, but we were cool. And since it is hard making friends at FIT, it's kind of like, damn, like this sucks. Like you can't just like, hey, let's go to Central Park today. You know, like who am I gonna hit up for that? So yeah, that sucks. That's why I was, I was in my room most of the time. I was working on my videos, working on me, just working hard. So I was like, you know what? My time to have fun will come. So I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna force anything. I'm gonna work on myself, do my stuff, and then, you know, go from there. Do you have any advice for freshmen? Join clubs, especially since, you know, people with same interests as you are gonna be in that club. So you could just be like, hey, like we should go grab coffee after this meeting or just things like that, you know, just shoot your shot. Just literally shoot your shot. That's my advice. Do you feel like the school is landing you a career in the fashion industry? Since it is my first year, I can't really say much about this yet, but um, I feel like it is. I've gone to the internship, um, what's it called? The internship department, I guess. And I've spoken to, um, one of the advisors there, they're super nice, super helpful, and they really, they're there with you throughout the way. So like you can, you know, you'd be like, hey, like I wanna get an internship, like what do you think is the best time for me? Like what time throughout my academic career is the best time? What are my options? And they really help you. And like I said, your professors are professionals in the industry, use them to your advantage and just, you know, network with them. Cause who knows, like after that class, whatever, you take a class with the professor, just really get to know them and you can even shoot them an email and be like hey like um i'm interested in your field do you have any tips or anything i could do or do you know anyone this is not like you can reach out to them and contact them and see if they can help you and they'll most likely will also with new york fashion week you meet people and you get to network with the people that are in charge of the show when i volunteered at new york fashion week for michael kors you know i got the email from that lady save the email reach out to them when it's fashion week season again and be like, hey, like, are you looking for any volunteers? Blah, blah, blah. Really have them remember your name. Just go to as many things as you can, get involved, and you will really benefit from the school. How do you get money to pay for things? So the school does have recruiters. So um, for example, Tiffany and Co, they were at the school. I went up to the table. They're like, oh yeah, we just need a few more like salespeople or whatever, whatever. You really get to know them. And also Michael Kors was at the school and that's how I got my job. So um, I've got just so many job interviews in New York. It's insane, like so many. And I landed Michael Kors and yeah, so I just, I work. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something or you're bad at something. Who gives a shit? I didn't ask for your opinion. Junior year, this girl told me, "Don't even bother applying to FIT because I did and I didn't get in. You're not gonna get in. Straight up, I'm not. I wish I was joking." And I was like, "Oh damn, like that sucks, but okay. Like I'm gonna watch me. Like watch me apply to FIT." And that's also the reason why I was like, "You know what? She said I can't." <laughs> Maybe I will. I feel like this whole video was like a very positive, inspirational video where I'm just telling you, follow your dreams. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my super lengthy FIT video. Um, if you have more questions that I did not answer, feel free to leave them down below and I'll respond or any other FIT student watching this will give you their insight. Like I said, these were my opinions and my experiences, which are completely different from everyone else's. So um, yeah, this is just what I think and how I see the school. So it'll probably change, we don't know. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in my next one.